Okay, yeah, it's perfect. Right? Okay, but we're missing somebody. What's up, everybody? <laughs> BJ just slowly <laughs> came in the shot. All right, so today's video is a character tournament. The eight of us will be pulling names from two different containers. We have seated them, top eight and bottom eight. Bracket of 16 characters. Each of us will be playing two different characters, one on the left side of the bracket, one on the right side of the bracket. The rules are um, you can use any cards that were used by the character you draw from the Duel Monsters anime. Um, any forbidden card they used is now limited, so this is traditional format. Um, you can use any anime exclusive card they used, and if they used a card in the anime that has a different effect than the one in the TCG, you must use the TCG card. Some exceptions will be made. So let's get to drawing. Okay, so um, there is trading, okay? So if you pull Joey Wheeler and Garen, Garen just really wanted Joey Wheeler, then he can trade. The issue now is that you are owed a favor by Garen, which means in a future video, you can force a trade. <laughs> so this is like future video stuff. Yes, yes, this is the long game. Okay. All right, Garen, pull the first name. Garen. I have... Merrick! I'm in a Merrick. Oh, okay, ah. nice, nice. All right. Cool. Joey Whitler! Nice! <laughs> Alright, BJ! Yeah. Noah Kaiba. Noah Kaiba? Is that Kaiba? This Kaiba's little brother. It's the guy with the blue hair. Mokuba? Virtual World Art. Oh, Deck no. Masters. Blake, you're up. <gasps> Dark! He's so the, the main, main villain from Waking the Dragons. Waking the Demon! Oh, God. Maximilian Pegasus. Not nice. actually. I'm okay with this. Yes. Tanner. Where'd you work to? Set oh, oh, my God. All right, Travin, do you want the last one or do you want me to have the last one? Well, there's Yugi in there. Stop cheating. No, no, who'd yeah. you get? <laughs> oh, no! Which means I... Am you Yugi! Yes! Is that how you spell that Yes. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go in backwards order, okay? So I will pull first. Whoa, what's this? Backwards order. And I get Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Travin? I'm paying you for your skills. Hey. What the? Bandit! <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, if you ask nice, I'll finish you fast. Boy, I want to be a duelist like him. <laughs> Alright, Tanner. Ahoy! <gasps> Rough! <Rah. laughs> <laughs> 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 He's another person from the Waking the Dragons arc. Oh. And then I was like, Rex, right? I'm cool! Oh, hey! hey. Sucks! Wait, we have a young one. It's magical. Rebecca, the little oh. ten-year-old girl with the teddy bear. Oh, dude. <laughs> what? Oh, she she was she was what the? She she did. Well, Yugi forfeited. Yugi. Yeah, but the Oh, nice. Did someone say Bakasura? Bakasura. Come out of the jungle. Okay. Morocco tsunami. <laughs> oh, tsunami. <laughs> Mako. It's Mako. Oh hey, shit. Hey, hey, Open it for me. Oh, Weevil underwood. Oh, you hear about Weevil? Nice. Uh, look, I see a bug. <laughs> Anybody want to start trading? Me, bitch. Who do you want to trade? Who do you uh, want? Anybody besides I, I would like. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I would like Bakura personally. And um, the trade is official. Right? You, right? you accept it. <laughs> so that means you can force a trade from Blake in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody want Weevil? Grandpa? <laughs> what the heck? I want Grandpa. Who do you have? I got Weevil. I'll trade you Weevil. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, okay. I was actually very excited. Weevil for you, baby. Weevil. Doesn't he run, um, you run a chart? What? <laughs> Raphael for Raphael? Why do you have to think of something? Because yeah. that's what we funny as fuck. Okay, so you are owed a favor from me. You're owed a favor from Blake and Tanner. All right, hey, the tournament is set. Here's the bracket. Boom, 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 boom. And now, we're going to get to the deck building. First. 
So I'm gonna try to go with the strategy we will have in Battle City of turning my opponent's monsters to insects. On the sixth turn, fuck it, let's, let's do it. Let's go. 300 to attack directly, what is this? This fucker put Seal of Orikalkin? Well, yeah, I'm assuming when he got his like salt egg and yeah. Wow, okay, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of one petite moth and I'll call it a day. That was actually pretty easy. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Surely you have some cards in mind that you just automatically want. Obviously, the Dark Magician. But you gotta go with the original, you know? You playing any of the gods? Oh my gosh, I am. I don't think Raw is that good unless you can play all the other cards, like Sphere Mode. Now I gotta get rid of one card. You could get rid of a Dark Magician. That's not a bad idea, actually. <sighs> okay, that is my deck. All right, so uh, were you satisfied? Sort with... of. Like, Weevil, I'm satisfied. The amount of cards I had, it's the best I could do. With Yugi, I had all these cards, but I have realized plot armor is heavy. <laughs> the Pharaoh doesn't lose. Joey. All right, here is your list of cards, my friend. There's a lot of them because Joey used a lot of cards. Okay, gonna use Baby Dragon. I see, I see. Now you got means you gotta play the Time Wizard, right? Mhm. Mm oh wow. This looks like each person with all their cards from their hand. Oh wow. wow. Yeah. Oh wow. Wow wow. It's a pretty good card. Roll a six out of die, draw cards equal to the result, then send cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard. Oh my god! What if, if you roll a six, you're drawing six cards. Dude. <laughs> Target one face-up card your opponent controls, draw one card, that monster attack becomes zero. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> alright, alright, um, alright. Save deck. New deck. Um, oh, Mako sure, Tsunami. Mako. Now Mako? It's gonna be really easy. Here's your list of cards. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so where's the thing where the moon shows up? <laughs> they did end up making that a card. Dude, this is the worst. I think this... In the anime though, he was like, not that bad. Right? Flying fish, are you kidding me? <laughs> So how do you feel about this deck so far? Dude, this is shit. So you gotta move two cards to your side deck. Oh, this must be a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Good what job, a man. Challenge this has been. How do you feel? You think you're gonna win with Mako Tsunami? Dude, I'm gonna destroy anybody who gets in the way of my ocean. Watch me. All right, but for Joey Wheeler, do you think you have a good shot? Joey Wheeler was born champion. Moon's card showed up battle and sent to the graveyard. You can take six my luck with Moon hands. And now one monster from their hand. Oh! <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's a real card? Yeah. That's a pretty crazy card. Yeah. You used to run her wow. on your main deck back when it was middle school days. No Miss Body up in here? Mm, no, unfortunately. But the cool thing about being my is you can use Harpy's Feather Duster. Oh, let's go! God, these cards. Target one, Amazon. Monster control, one face at once, but control, switch to original tech. So, we're we about to have 3,000 against Kaiba. I've always seen that card. <laughs> I never knew it was that strong. I don't like this bitch. Alright, we'll move her. Bandit Keto. Yeah, he was the. Uh, he was a red-blooded American, but he was a bad boy. <laughs> oh, Zara the man. So we gotta run him. We gotta run this guy. <laughs> He's the best. Are you shitting my fucking tank? <laughs> They're not even strong. Kai was gonna fuck me up. Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, well he's safe. Alright, so how do you think uh, Bandit Keith's gonna do? He's gonna go all in, baby. <laughs> Alright, so you think it's gonna be my Valentine versus Bandit Keith in the finals? 
shit, no. Did you really take a nap? Yeah, I was taking a nap. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was like that I really sleep well, so. Oh, yeah. So, he, this is like his actual, like, the main person that's supposed to pull out? Yeah, him and Yamada Dragon. So, this is also the same thing as this guy? Yeah, all, all spirit monsters cannot be special summoned, and they all return the hand. Um, but Yamada Dragon, when he deals battle damage, you draw until you have five cards in your hand. So, with spirit monsters not being able to be special summoned and returning the hand, mm -hmm. how are you feeling about this so far? I feel like I'd be pain in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> so, what all do you know about Raphael? Did you watch the Waking the Dragons arc? Uh, no. I only watched literally, like, probably the first season. <laughs> gotcha. So, you don't know who Noah or Raphael are? Um, no. Okay. Well, maybe this should I've be fun. Seen them, but I maybe I, I think if you see pictures, you might recognize them. All right, two decks up, two decks down. What do you think? Which deck do you think is gonna do better? Honestly, I don't know. They're both seems pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one tells me I don't have to have monsters. I can't have monsters on the graveyard, and the other one tells me I cannot special summon a normal summon them, basically. Yeah, one, Noah's, you can't have them on the field because they return, and Raphael's, yeah. you can't have them in the graveyard. So, uh, it's actually kind of funny you got both of those. It's going to be interesting. Egyptian God Slime. That, is that real? It's a big beat stick. So, the trap card Metal Reflex Slime, you contribute it and pull him out. That's going to be pretty dangerous. Dangerous. The Winged Dragon of Ra himself, and all of them here. So when Winged Dragon of Ra leaves, well, this is in the graveyard. Oh, the I phoenix rises from the ashes. And when the phoenix goes away during the end phase, you pull out the sphere mode, and on the sphere mode, you pull out the Ra. And that is a cycle, you just go back and forth. And this card is summon target one monster in the field, lose and attack. I'm actually running three of that, that's actually not bad. Because you can target your own monster. I could target my own monster. And then it would go to zero. Hopefully I can get my... If opponent. you have a weak enough monster. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. That's pretty powerful, especially for a long game. Mm-hmm. Because, <laughs> like, because they're going to see me tribute put a face down, they're like, what the fuck is this? You're going to have 60 cards? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh my god. Consistency's going to be shit. <laughs> Should I get rid of some? Yes. 19 cards? Yes. Yeah, fuck it. 54. 54? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have a blue eyes because he's got blue eyes on here. During each of your end phases, if this card do not attack and opponents monster by battle, you take 300 damage. I mean, I thought they have better like level one tributes like Rude Kaiser. This card cannot be tributed for a tribute summon. <laughs> no lava gold. During each of standbys, <laughs> standby phase, if this card do not attack, you take 500 damage. So Grandpa's cards are broken. You're saying? I need everything. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't need everything to activate the effect to revive your ancient dragon. Yeah, but like the whole thing is get out of the deck. <laughs> I'll throw three in there just for now. Okay, well let's see if these cards if these cards are good, then we're fine. Actually only to control a face of the <laughs> Oh my god! Draw your last pathetic card so I can end this Yugi. My grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards, Kaiba. When did he use this deck? It was in the very last arc, the Kaiba World Grand Prix. He wore a mask and everything. He was like the mask man. Oh, I, know. I never saw that. That's hilarious. And I need some swords. I need some swords. Oh my god, three copies for sure. I have to have This is the worst deck. Oh, oh. wait, no. I send them to the graveyard. Yeah. I have to. Okay. Grandpa. All right, so how, do you think Grandpa's going to get past round one? I don't know why, but I feel like Grandpa's going to be better than Mary. So what all do you know about darts? Uh, I, I watched that arc, but <laughs> but I don't really remember anything about it. Orikalkos Shunoros will use the anime effect and not the TCG effect because um, there are a couple of cards you need that's like have to be special summoned by Shunoros, mm. but because they don't exist in the real game, he can't mm. special summon them. So are you excited about having? Chad Yugi. Chad Yugi. Oh, just Yugi's a Chad, bro. Yugi's Chad? What are you talking about? Who's Chad? Like, you know, like Chad. Like the meme. 
If a monster you control is destroyed by an opponent's attack or card effect, pay off your life points, summon this dude. This card good. Terraforming would have been nice. I'm, I'm, just, I'm foreseeing there being a consistency issue with this deck. Is there a way to make Destiny Board good? Is the real question. So if I lose one of these, I just cannot win with Destiny Board? I think so. I think Destiny Board's effect is if one of them's destroyed, all of them are destroyed. So I think this might not be a good idea. <laughs> Sounds like McCor really did just make up his own effects. Like... <laughs> Alright, so you're good? I am good. But you know who isn't good? Bakura. He's bad. <laughs> I learned that today. I'm disappointed. All right. I traded for this. I know. All right, so whose deck do you want to make first? Who did you get? Uh, Pegasus. Like my nudes? Oh, shit. Like a nudes? <laughs> hey, someone and immediately. Pega, my tip. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Wait, Pega, Pega. Pega. Oh, my God. How many of those can I have? Three. Do I want three? It's a pretty good card. You can just right click can it you if you suggest want. suggest three? I would suggest three, yes. I'm imagining I want three Tomb Worlds. Dang, this is overwhelming. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing this right. Gemini Elf, she cannot special summon herself, but she's still a pretty good one. All right, but I can't do everything for you. That sounds like shit. Why do I have to pay life points with that? They all do that. Even with Tomb World? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know what the fuck that means. He doesn't have a lot to work with. No. Oh, God, no, why would I know? Okay, so you're telling me <laughs> I'm gonna need that fucking crawling dragon. <laughs> All right, so how do you think about your Rex Raptor deck? Oh my god, that's awful. What, what about Pegasus? What do you think your chances are? Didn't know it was limited to the old ones? Uh, we'll just have to see. <laughs> These cards are all good. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, when I was typing that, it did seem pretty broken, especially because it's not a once per turn. The tribute one monster to this turn, monsters you control can attack your opponent. So you think Kaiba's cards are overpowered? Oh, hell yeah, they're all <laughs> <laughs> Kaiba would get banned. Of course, blue eyes. You know what? We're gonna go with that. Alright, what else do I know? I don't know a lot. Player whose monster remains alone on the field at the end of this phase wins the duel. Oh, I love that. Yeah, we're, we're definitely adding that. Yep, that, 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 is the, uh, that is the thing. Rebecca Hawkins. Oh god, I forgot. Oh, that's the card. I recognize this card. Yeah, that's a that, that's a good card. Man, they really did. Pot of Green is just great. There's no downside to having it. That's why it's banned. Let's see. All right. So how do you feel about the Rebecca Hawkins deck? Oh, I feel good about Rebecca Hawkins. I like the idea that I'm gonna just keep healing and healing, and then I'm gonna be able to attack. And Seto Kaiba. Oh, Seto Kaiba. Kaiba has a lot of cards, man. I mean, it was tough to choose, but Kaiba's low-key broken. Oh my God, yes. In today's rules, Kaiba wouldn't win. You think Kaiba's gonna win the tournament? Oh hell yeah, Kaiba's gonna win. <laughs> I was gonna definitely win. I'm gonna wreck somebody with some dragons, bro. All right.